Welcome to our last video on prehistoric life. In the last video, we saw some fossils and found out just how much we can learn about the Earth's history from them. Did you ever wonder how fossils are formed? A fossil starts with a living thing, like this turtle. It can happen in a few different ways, but most are formed when a plant or animal dies in a watery environment and is buried by mud and silt. An event like a flood can rapidly bury an organism before they have a chance to be eaten or even decompose. All that is left behind are hard bones or shells. Over time, sediment builds over the top and hardens into rock. Dissolved minerals transported by groundwater in the sediment fill tiny spaces in the bones. The combination of pressure, chemical reactions, and time eventually turns the sediments into rock and the bones into mineralized fossils a process called per-mineralization. While fossils are rare, they can be found by someone with a curious mindset. Fossils will remain within the rock until uncovered millions of years later through erosion or even excavation. Digging down through layers of rock is like digging back in time, the deeper layers representing the older sediment that was deposited first. The key to finding fossils is finding the right layer of rock. Thank you for being part of our Prehistoric Life virtual field trip. While we would have liked to do it in person, we can still use our scientific mindsets to find evidence of ancient Colorado everywhere. I challenge you to seek out this evidence yourself and tell us what you find.